Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Shuri from Black Panther. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, I know the pose. I've already sketched it out. I know what I want to do. I just got to get it there. And it's kind of an action pose. Well, no, it's not kind of, it is, it's an action pose. It's her in a fighting stance with the, uh, the claws, the old panther claws on. So, um, like I talked about in my other videos, you got to draw out the, the, uh, position, the pose, and you can build off that. So if you don't get this right, then what's the point, you know? Because I've talked about before too, that if you, you're sketching, you start with the, the face, everybody likes drawing the face, even me too. You start there and you're drawing, you're drawing, you're drawing, all of a sudden you're down here and you're not even on camera. You know, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna explain it to your, to your audience, right? What are you gonna do? Okay. All right, I think I think this is good. I can start to draw the and that's what it is. Once you once you get like the the uh, the main pose, then you can add the details. And the nice thing about her is a lot of this is um, anatomy, you know, like uh, this is kind of like a skin tight suit. I just got to draw shoes, same thing. So I got to draw a leg, human anatomy, and then shoes. So it's good to, to know your anatomy, to understand what muscles lay over what, what bones go where, and what uh, um, fits for what you got to do. I mean, it's always good to know your anatomy, no matter what, right? Because you don't want to be going to the doctor and the doctor says, what's wrong? Like, well, the shoe hurts, you know? <laughs> it's good to know what, what your anatomy is. All right, I'm just being silly with that one. No, you don't go to the doctor when you You go to the shoe doctor whenever your shoe hurts, right? <laughs> Crazy. All right, so let me see if I can... You know what I don't have? Let me give it, I need a good picture of these... These, uh... These, uh, um, what do you call them? Pan panther, panther gauntlets. All right. Something like this. And, uh, because, because I finished my, I, I ate all my vegetables, I can now go to the fun part of the, uh, the detail of the, the weapons. Okay, and um, also a lot of it's covering her anatomy, so I um, am basically drawing uh, the, the weapons more than I'm drawing the actual uh, body, you know? All right, so see her breasts are right there. Gonna raise her arm up like this. Put her face right here. Let me draw her pretty hair up here like this. All right, so let me draw some face features and then I'll move over to the arm. And, oh, and something else I've talked about in all my videos is I'm not a caricature artist, so I cannot make it look like the actual um, um, actress. I can I can basically get close by drawing eyes and nose and mouth. But that's it. That's all I can do. So I'm not I'm not uh, gonna obsess or worry about whether this looks exactly like her. I'm just going to draw um, 
the pretty girl's face. For the character. Sorry, sometimes I get, I start concentrating on my words. I mean, concentrating on my drawing and my words just disappear. Because I am not a writer. Or a speaker. Or <laughs> a human being. I am just a drawer. That's all I can do. Okay, and I'm trying to emulate some of the the uh, the beautiful wrap in her hair. All right, that should work. And then I think I'm trying to find another picture. Yeah, she's got like her her uh, braid hanging down. We'll do a kind of dramatic flow. There we go. Looking good. How's yours coming out? Awesome. All right, so let me draw her. Her arm over here. Okay, and um, the gauntlet, the the panther claws. Do they have a name? I'm a horrible, horrible uh, researcher that I didn't even think about that. I just started. drawing the uh, the fun part you know okay I think that should work for what I'm trying to do that one's a little closer to you so that works okay cool let's do that I think we're ready to go um, here we go. Oh, you know what? Let's draw some knuckles in there because she's got her fist in there. Okay, cool. I think I am ready to go. Um, I'm going to erase some of the lighter uh, sketchiness because we want to stick with the confident lines because as I was sketching, the more confident I was with where I was going with it, the darker my lines go. And those are the ones we're going to follow. So the sketch, just got to get rid of. Plus, I don't want this, the pencil to stand out over the Sharpie. If you're working with pencil, you go for it. You keep going. But because I'm going to end up using a Sharpie, I want the pencil lines to kind of disappear a little bit. So I'm just going to erase some of them, and then I'm going to welcome everybody that skipped to the Sharpie portion. Here we go. Good to go. Good to go. So... Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point and can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. So, I've sketched the entire thing out, but I've erased the lighter sketch lines and what's left is a darker ghost of an image, but still light enough that it won't show up and I can kind of trace over it. So I'm gonna start with the Sharpie pen to draw some of the finer details and build from there. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to draw her eyelids, uh, the top first, and build off of that just to see if I've got them level to where I want to go. So I'm going to draw the top one over like this, the other one over like that. And that looks, uh, it's all right. Uh, it's a little off, but I'm going to see if I can fix this. So I'm going to draw the iris and build off of that. Like that. The other one over here like this. And that'll work. I can build off of this. So um, I can't draw um, all the eye because this will bleed too much. So I'm going to give her just a little bit of the pupil like that and then build off of this. So see how this one is about right, but this one's like all crazy wonky like this. Let me see if I can correct that by drawing underneath here for the, um, the makeup, kind of a cat eye to kind of a... Uh, a little bit of eyelash and correct this one over here too and I'm not going to draw the under part of the eye because these will bleed too much if you're working with pencil you go for it I just know that this one's going to bleed if I do so there we go I fixed it I kind of have them at an angle and uh, I can make it work for what I want to do so there we go so I'm just going to kind of imply the bottom of the eye by coming in just a little bit 
and letting the iris imply that that's the bottom edge of the eye. Color will take care of the rest, but as far as a Sharpie goes, I can make it work like this. So, I'm gonna draw her eyebrow, and she's got kind of an angry scowl because she's in a fighting pos position. She's, you know, angry that she's gotta be uh, challenged like this. So I'm gonna draw her eyebrow up like this, and then do the other one over here. Same thing, kind of coming down like that. There we go, I like that. Mine's coming out pretty good. How's yours coming out? Awesome, so I'm gonna draw just a little bit of a bridge because like this, that's where her bridge of the nose is. We'll go ahead and do one over here too, but that's it, that's all I'm gonna do because any more is gonna be too uh, prominent and I want uh, this black edge to just do prominent edges, not everything. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and move on down to the nose and I've already sketched it out so I know where it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the bulb of the nose like this and like that. And I'm gonna draw the nostrils like this. Like, oops, like that. And it should be more of a bulb. I'm gonna try to round that bottom part out like that a little bit more. Like that. Okay, and um, see I wanna draw that bulb, but I, I, I don't want to because like I said, I want this to be just prominent lines, not the entire uh, edge. I'll let color take care of that and make give me a bridge right there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and draw her mouth. So I'm gonna draw the edges, the middle, and then the edge like that, and then come back and draw just a little bit of a top lip like this, and then a little bit of a bottom lip like that. There we go, let me define that edge a little bit more. So there we go, so now I'm gonna build her, her uh, uh, chin like directly down from there like this. And I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit too because when I switch over to this Sharpie, it's gonna be really thick. So I'm trying to match the way it's going to look. And so I'm gonna get a little bit thicker now that I'm working on the outer edges and not worried about the finer detail. So I'm gonna draw her side of her chin or her jaw like this up to her cheeks, to the side of her head like this. And again, like I said, I'm gonna thicken this up a little bit. If you're working with pencil, you don't have to do that. I just know what these are capable of. So that's why I'm trying to get ready for it. And so now I'm gonna draw the other side over here and her ears right there. So I'm gonna come down like this. And again, thicken this up just a bit. And then work my way back up. Okay, there we go. So now her hair is gonna come up and out like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw some of the detail and then come down and add like the rose where it's braided coming up, okay? So I'm gonna draw her ear. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna add just like a little bit of a inside like this, not too much. I don't know why I added the extra line right there, I'm gonna hide it. Because kind of like the nose, we only wanna do a few lines for that ear just to make it, uh, um, to give it something there, but not to draw too many crazy lines. Um, so again, I'm gonna draw the edge of her hair up like this, and I think I'm gonna switch over to the big Sharpie too, and then come back with a finer detail for that in a second. Before I forget, I'm gonna draw her braid like this. And I'll add those bumps, or the, uh, the actual braid in a second. I just wanted to, uh, um, just uh, accent that real fast. Just to give me the edges, basically. All right, so let me do the top of her hair real fast. And I'm gonna do, let's try to find a real picture, a good picture, there we go. Um, to try to draw like the, the detail and, or the, the thickness, because it's a nice, beautiful braid, so I wanna give it something. I wanna work a little bit with the way, the way they have it, you know? Okay. So there's the top half. So now that we have that edge, I can draw those rows like I wanted to, but let me just finish up this right here real fast and, and just kind of accent the, the pretty look they have to it. Like this. This one's gonna come up here like this. I'm gonna do those lines there in a second. This one's gonna be like this. And this one's gonna wrap around like that. Tops like that. 
There we go. So, let's come back here with the small Sharpie and add just some rows like this. And I'm kind of doing uh, separate instead of going all the way across just to kind of build uh, a, a, a textured um, uh, uh, braided look to it, you know? Like I don't want it to look perfect because it's hair that's all pieced together, you know? So that's that's what I was going for. So same thing here, just kind of want to go and build some of these. Build this across. Same thing over here like that. Oh, my paper is just all bowed right now. There we go. So that's it. I don't want to go any, any do any more than that because it's it's subtle and it gets the point across, all right? Okay, so let's find uh, the picture I was working with and build off of this. So her her necklace, it's kind of bent a little bit because I've got her shoulders raised. So not the necklace, but the, the armor piece, I guess, is what it is um, for her neck, her neck piece. So we're going to draw the bottom of it like this and come up, but I'm going to kind of bow it a little bit because of the way her shoulders are, are raised and go like that, okay? The same thing, I'm just gonna do like this, and then bring it back down, because when you raise your arms, your shoulders come up higher, so that's why I'm emphasizing that it's it's raised up, okay? Like this, that's what I was going for. Now there's, there's specific detail that's in there that I'm gonna try to do some of it, but not all of it, because we're not gonna be able to draw every single line but it does have some, some good design to it that I want to draw some of it and at least complement uh, their, their creativity, the designers. Because a lot of people put a lot of thought into the look and the way this, this uh, is, is positioned and things like that, or designed, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Um, that's why it's nice to see Academy Awards and whatnot given to, um, costume designers because a lot of a lot of thought goes into the way these are, are going to look and it's it's really nice that people do this for a living and they should get acknowledged for all the hard work they put into it all right so before we move down let's work on the hands because this one is in front of the body and i need what's in front drawn first so when you draw what's behind uh you're not drawing over this so i'm going to go ahead and just start with the the the, the face of the um Panther, the panther face, the panther gauntlet. And I'm not just drawing randomly, like I I, I, I sketched it out so I knew uh, what this was going to look like and where it was going. So uh, these lines are not just random, they're, they're uh, meticulously planned. All right. And let's see, and I'm going to draw the bottom of it, something like this. There we go. There's a nice defined edge. And let's see, this is going to go back like this. Let me see if I get it right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, not perfect. That's very... Uh, <laughs> egotistical to say that your drawing is perfect, but I meant perfect, perfectly, um, perfectly the way I wanted it to be. How's that? I'm going to draw some hard edges here just to uh, define that it's a hard edge and not soft, soft, soft goods, soft material. We'll go ahead and just draw some fingers in here like this because she does uh, have her, her hand inside, but it's not as accented as the, the edges of this gauntlet, right? Okay. You know, let's go ahead and just do this one too, and then we'll work our way back in. Again, I've already sketched this out, so I'm not just drawing random lines. I am actually uh, going with my sketch. All right. 
I know it's, it seems like I'm just randomly throwing lines in there, right? But no, I know, I know what I'm doing. I got this. I say that, and that's where I'm going to mess up. You know, you get too egotistical, you get too, too, uh, too uh, boastful, and then that's when it all falls down. All right, so something like that. Well, my hands are shaky. Look at these weird lines. They're all, all jaunty. Here's your word of the day, jaunty. A jaunt is a small travel, a small, uh, um, see, I shouldn't even be teaching you words of the day because I am not a good speaker. I am not a good writer. I don't know what I'm doing, but I can draw. I got that going for me. Uh, let's draw her hands in here like this. We're, again, we're just going to draw some fingers like that. Doesn't have to be very specific because they're going to be, uh, um, color's going to be hidden, uh, hiding most of that anyway, so I'm not worried about the specifics of that. All right. Okay, so like I said, now that I have those, I can build behind. So her arm is kind of bent back. I'm doing it like you can see. Her arm is kind of bent back here, like it's raised up. So the majority of it is in there and behind the, uh, gauntlet so you can't really see much like she has a little uh um i wanted to say bracelets but i guess arm cuffs what would you call those like that but again you can't really see much because of the way her uh body is is placed placed the way we placed her body you know i'm making it sound like like uh, something just happened and she was there. No, the way I drew it, <laughs> the way I put it in this position. Okay, so I'm gonna draw her, I'm gonna go ahead and draw her waist, come back up, and then we're gonna work our way that way. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna draw it to the edge of her little sash that she's got like this, like this. If I can come back up here, go like this. I'm gonna draw a round part for her breast. There's the edge of her shirt. And there are details in the um, um, shirt here. I'll go ahead and just draw a little bit. Again, I'm not going to do all of it because color should really be doing most of this. But I, I like the, the pattern, so I kind of want to do something to it. Again, just to emphasize the, the, the design they put in there. All right, I, I'm gonna. That's all I'm going to do. I, I want. There's more in there, but I want color to take care of that. So. That being said, now we can draw the rest of her arm because I needed to draw this edge before I could build off of it. So there's her shoulder into the armband like we're talking about. There's the armband like this. Then come down to the elbow, into the uh, gauntlet like that. There we go. So now I'm going to draw with a tinier Sharpie. I'm going to emphasize the gauntlet or the gauntlet, the armband like this and I like doing it with a thinner sharpie sometimes because you get a nice contrast of thick and thin okay let's thicken this edge up just a bit just to highlight the inside like that oh yeah looking great how's yours looking awesome okay so now we're just gonna draw her little uh, um, tech um, skirt holder. I don't know what you want to call that. But that's what it's doing. It's holding the skirt together. So we're just going to add just a little bit of like tech lines to it because it's got it's got a special look to it. Okay, so now we're just going to draw like I was talking about in the sketch. There's a lot of tech like, like in her shirt, in her legs. But I'm going to do that with color. So all we're really doing now is anatomy cloth anatomy and shoes that's really about it so I'm gonna have her ripped up cloth kind of over like this it's coming down but I want it kind of out in like a uh, a flying fashion you know, for the the dramatic the fight you know the action pose so I'm gonna draw the other edge over here connect it like that and draw this edge over here like this again a little tattered come down because again I got that one kind of flowing out and I'm gonna draw the other edge. Again, a little tattered. Something like this. Like that. And there are like some 
layers to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some creases and folds, my favorite. All right, how's yours looking? That's awesome, that, that came out really well. I'm super happy about that. All right, so I gotta draw the underside right there, but I wanna draw the legs first and then we'll do that. But like I said, the legs are pretty much anatomy, so we're just gonna draw the thigh to the knee, to the shin. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of bump for the material before it goes into the shoe. Add that, a little bit of a bump, just to show that it's material, you know, not just naked leg. So we're gonna draw the um, calf to the back of her knee, to the inner thigh, into the skirt like that. Same thing over here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come down to the knee, to the shin, to some, some bumps, go back up, to the calf, back of the knee, to the thigh. Now, since I have that, I can draw the edge of this skirt like that. All right, so now, again, color is gonna take care of that, so I'm not worried about that. So now let's just finish up the shoes. So the shoes are pretty much are pretty much the same thing. We're gonna let color take care of that. So we're just drawing like the outer outer edges of it, like this. And same thing here. We're just gonna do the front of the foot like that. Is the heel coming in down to the toe like that? And I'll tell you what. Let's do a little bit extra just because it, it does it does need something, right? Oh, you know what we can do. I know what we'll do. Okay, so here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of extra. Since we're pretty much done, you can stop here if you want, but I'm gonna add a little bit of the detail just to have you something, just draw something for the shoes, you know? And uh, because they do, do, they too have like this, this cool little tech look to them. So we're just gonna do something like that. And uh, I'm gonna give her knee, knee, knee pads, I guess. No, not knee pads, but knee space. Because like we did up there, we're gonna add a little bit of that and then color will take care of the rest of it. But that'll at least break up that it's just a blank, blank spot, you know? So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Shuri from Black Panther. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.